today we had the great privilege of launching the Generation School Space Academy. The purpose of the Space Academy is to create purpose behind education. Having themes like space, black holes, quantum physics, by knitting schooling education into professions with regards to space exploration as well as um, space observation through astronomy. Both ground-based and air-based assets, uh, the Space Academy is there to open up questions that students can answer with regards to why they're doing what they're doing. We have some of the best minds um, in our country and on our continent and some might even argue globally part of our Space Academy with the likes of Professor Dr. Bernard Fanaroff, uh, Dr. Adriana Marais, Khalid Monjur and the rest of the space team um, in the African continent helping us knit what for our students will be an easy passage into employment as well as future profession with regards to sustainability of not only our planet but the human race. We had a fun practical activity today with partnership with Airbus Satellites. We got a satellite to come over the African continent and take a picture with the Generation Sandown campus being centre in the middle with Generation School's logo on it. Probably the only school on the planet uh, taking pictures with a satellite. And the purpose for this is to get students thinking, how did that satellite take the picture? There's no Wi-Fi in space. How did it get the picture to a ground station? And to create curiosity for our learners, which will hopefully inspire them to get more involved with understanding of education. Hi, I'm Adriana and the reason I want to explore beyond Earth is simple. I believe that the allure of the unknown is far more powerful than the comfort of the known. I'm super excited to be here at Generation Schools for the launch of the Space Academy. The kinds of questions that I heard here today give me a lot of hope for the future because curiosity and a passion for learning are, are two of the tools that we're going to need to advance ourselves as a species. The other one I believe is a, a first for exploration because when we get out of our comfort zones we have the capacity to learn and create knowledge in a way that we do not when we are living in the comforts of home, whatever home might, might mean to us. Last year I founded an organisation called Proudly Human and we're really excited to start gearing up for our off-world projects. We're going to be opening applications for our six months in Namibia off-world experiment where we'll build our infrastructure from scratch in preparation for the kinds of extreme environments that we're going to find off-world. Programs like the Space Academy give me hope that the next generation is going to forge towards a proudly human future, whatever planet we're on.